get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, we got a new song today. We also have a new musical instrument to make. Hopefully you got those things I told you about last week to make a brand new musical instrument and a fun little activity you can do with them after you've made them. So, enough talking about it. Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Alrighty, fourth grade, got a new song for you. A song about an animal that you probably don't want to cross paths with if you get out into the woods. A bear. The song is called No Bears Out Tonight. Let me sing it for you. It goes like this. No bears out tonight, no bears out tonight, no bears out tonight, they've all gone away. Very simple song. It's actually a game you can play this. I'll teach you the game in just a second. Let's learn the song first. Question, how many times do you take a breath? How many phrases are in this song? Listen. No bears out tonight, no bears out tonight, no bears out tonight, they've all gone away. Did you count? Four. Nice job. I'll sing the same. You go back. No bears out tonight. No bears out tonight. No bears out tonight. They've all gone away. Try with me. It's a pretty easy song. Here we go. No bears out tonight. No bears out tonight. No bears out tonight. They've all gone away. Very simple song. Right now, here's where the game comes in. In this song, you're going to need a group of people, probably at least five or six people. If you have a big family that works well, or if you're getting some cousins or some friends or people to come over, something else you can do with them. Okay? One person is the bear. Sorry, but you gotta be the bear, you gotta have a bear. Everybody else is, well, they're not a bear, they're a person, right? Not too much of imagination there, but they're gonna be on one side of the room, or this actually works better even if you're outside. You sing the song, no bears out tonight, no bears out tonight, no bears out tonight, they've all gone away. At the end of the song, the bear is going to wait. The bear, after a little while, build up the suspense, is going to roar. And they can give a pretty good bear roar. When you hear the roar, you have to get past the bear. Now you're all going to be going. Maybe there's like five of you, maybe there's like six of you. You're all running to try to get past the bear. If you make it past the bear, good job. But the bear can stop you. And if the bear stops you, I hate to say it, you got eaten, okay? And if you got eaten, you're done. You're out. Goodbye. Sorry. Okay. If you're out, you leave. You don't exit the leave. You just exit the game. Then you play it again. No bears out tonight. No bears out tonight. No bears out tonight. They've all gone away. And the suspense builds a little bit. Everyone's waiting to hear that roar. And when the bear roars, you have to get back on the other side of the bear. And again, the bear can get someone. Maybe the bear won't get anybody. But you keep going until there's only one person left. And that person gets to become the new bear. Okay? So have some fun making music. And most importantly, stay away from bears, okay? We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, we're heading back up to Canada. Get on that donkey engine, cut down some trees. Let's sing our song, Donkey Riding. Here we go. Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck? When there's a king with a golden crown riding on a donkey. Hey ho, away we go, donkey riding, donkey riding. Hey ho, away we go, riding on a donkey. Great. We did a pattern with this song, a little ostinato with our hands. Let's remember what that ostinato was. It's pretty simple. It was ta di ta di ta ta. Try it with me. Ta di ta di ta. Keep going. Were you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck? When there's a king with a golden crown riding on a donkey. Hey ho, away we go, donkey riding, donkey riding. Hey ho, away we go, riding on a donkey. 
me. How'd it go? This time, let's try to clap it, that ostinato, but while you sing along with me, okay? Let's see if you do both at the same time. A little bit advanced level music making. Here we go, ready? <laughs> go on autopilot. Don't even think about it. Maybe a little bit, think about it. Ready, here we go. Or you ever in Quebec, stowing timber on the deck, when there's a king with a golden crown, riding on a donkey. Hey ho, away we go, donkey riding, donkey riding. Hey ho, away we go, riding on a donkey. How'd it go? Were you able to sing it and clap at the same time? Good. Now, last week we answered a couple questions. I want to see who's got really good memory, who's got really good listening ears, who can remember the answers to some of these questions. First question for you is this. How many beats are in the first phrase of the song? See if you can count them all. Listen. Lou, 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 lou. How many beats do we keep there? Keep it beating and see if you can figure it out. Lou, 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 lou. Eight beats. Very good. Hopefully you counted eight beats. Okay. Now, if you listen very carefully, who remembers which beats have just one sound of them? If you listen very carefully, there are two beats that have just one sound. Which two beats? Have just one sound. Listen. Lou, 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 lou. You remember which two? Well, obviously the last one we heard has just one sound. And the other one is the fourth beat, about halfway through. Fourth beat has one sound, last beat's got one sound. Okay. How many sounds are on the first beat? Do you remember? Lou, 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 lou. If you sing it and keep a beat, it'll probably help you remember it. Lou, 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 lou. How many sounds were on that first beat? Two, exactly. Now these two sounds are interesting because, well, they're not the same. They're actually not equal. They're kind of uneven. How would you describe those first two sounds? Lou, lou. They don't sound the same, do they? They sound long and then short. A long sound followed by a short sound. Long, short, ta di ta di ta ta di ta di ta di ta Tricky. See if you can sing it with me while you keep a steady beat. Here we go. Long, short, ta di ta di ta ta di ta di ta di ta Good. Now, what we have here is a brand new rhythm. Two sounds at a beat. That's not new. We have ta di. That's two sounds at a beat. But this is two sounds at a beat, and it's not ta di. It's two uneven sounds, unequal sounds on a beat, where the first sound is long and the second sound is short. This week, I want to make a picture of those sounds. You're going to need something to write on and something to write with. So I just have a board here. You can just get a piece of paper and a crayon or a pencil or a pen or whatever you want. I'd like you to make a picture of these sounds. Now, how can we do this? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, first of all, what I want you to do is I'd like you to... Think about the beats. Now, in this song, we have eight beats. So I want you to draw eight things that are the beat. Um, well, this song's about cutting trees down. So what if we just did trees? I don't know. I got a tree. Okay, it's a very interesting looking tree. This is why I'm a music teacher, not an art teacher. Okay. There we got, oh boy. There's three. There's four. You can draw whatever you want. Five. Six, these are getting worse. Seven, and I ran out of room, so I'll go back here. Eight, okay. Those are, you know, those are, those are just awful trees, but you get the idea. Draw eight things that are the beat, okay? Now, we gotta divide these up into the groups of two, like our time signature. So we got two, 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 there we go. Now, some of these beats have sounds like we talked about. The first beat we said has our new rhythm. Two sounds where the first sound is long and the second sound is short. So we can just draw maybe some lines. A long line followed by a short line on that first beat. Long, short, ta di ta di ta ta di ta di ta di ta Maybe your picture will look like that. I don't know. Maybe it'll look a little bit better than that, too. Make a picture of what these sounds look like. Especially that new one, that new one on the first beat, long, short, okay? Because next week, we're going to learn what we call this rhythm, what it looks like, and how we can use it. So for this week, make a picture and get ready for next week when we learn about our brand new rhythm.
Hi, third and fourth grade virtual music students. My name is Mr. Thompson, and I'm the elementary band director. In this segment of Making Music with Our Falcon Friends, you will see and hear the 150 member Cornwall Lebanon Elementary Band. They will perform a song for you called Alien Invasion. Then, my students and I will show you each instrument of the band to help you decide which instrument you might like to learn. Make sure you listen to them all. If you are interested in learning to play one of these instruments, now is the time to sign up. Let's get started. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed hearing the elementary band today. Remember, if you would like to learn to play one of these instruments, now is the time to sign up. Here's how to sign up. First, tell your parents that you would like to play a band instrument. Then have them open the email that they received last week from your principal, Mr. Burton. Your parents should follow the directions in the email to sign you up for band. I look forward to having you in the elementary band someday. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All righty, fourth grade. Last week I told you to collect five bottles, which I have done right here. They're all Diet Coke bottles. That's right. We're not sponsored by Diet Coke, but hey, I mean, we could be. So. I want you to get these five bottles, make sure they're all the same size because it's really important to have them the same size to make this a little bit easier for you because we're going to turn these bottles into musical instruments. Now anything can be a musical instrument, I don't know if you know that, but these certainly can be. Many different ways you can make them, but the coolest way is probably by blowing some air over the top of them. Listen. You have to practice this a little bit and get the right sound, but take the bottle, empty bottle, put it up to your lower lip and then blow some air straight across. Just like that. You can move the bottle around a little bit till you get that really good sound. Use your ears and determine what's a good sound. Now, why do we have five of these? Well, if you'll notice, I filled each one up with a little bit of water. This first one's completely empty. This one's got a little bit of water in it. Take a listen. Change the pitch, right? What happened to the pitch? It actually went higher, right? So this bottle with a little bit of water in it makes a higher pitch than the one without any water in it. No water makes a low pitch. A little bit of water makes a higher pitch. Well, you'll notice this one's got, oh, just a little bit more water. And it got higher. This one's got a little bit more water and it's higher and guess what this one's got a little bit more water so guess what's gonna happen it's even higher right the more water the higher the pitch the less water the lower the pitch that's because the vibrations change based on how much water is in here the bottle vibrates differently the air vibrates a little bit differently so that's what is causing these different pitches now listen carefully pretty familiar. Mi, re, do, ti, la. It's a la pentachord. It's a la pentachord right here. I've taken these five bottles, five, and made a pentachord with them. Our new one, our la pentachord. Here's what I'd like you to do. Use your ears. Use your brains. Use some bottles. 
use some water and see if you can tune your five bottles to make them sound like those five pitches. Mi, re, do, ti, la. Mm -hmm. A way you can check this is first of all, by listening, you also listen to the video, but remember what we said about major and minor steps? That's a major step. This one's got that much water, this one's got no water. This is a minor step. Look at the difference. Those are almost the same. Just a little bit more water makes it go up a minor step. This is a major step. Look at that difference. The more water, the bigger the step. So, you can use your eyes here a little bit too to try to figure that out. Okay, so use your ears, see if you experiment a little bit, and see if you can make your five bottle sound like Mi, re, do, ti, la, our la pentachord. Good luck. We're making music with our falcon friends. All right, fourth grade, you've got your bottles. And I've, this is, these are very difficult to hold. But you've got your La Pentacord bottles. Hopefully you've tuned them, you've listened to them, you've experimented a little bit. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to see if you can uh, make up your own phrase using all five of these. Okay? Make up your own phrase. Make up your own music. You can actually write it out, too, if you want to. Remember last week we learned about that sharp? That F sharp is what we actually called it last week. That sharp symbol looks like a hashtag. Hashtag sharp. I don't think that's how hashtags are used, but I'm old, so I don't know. But in any event, make up a song, make up a phrase that uses these five bottles. Experiment around. If you end on low la, which is the one that should have no water in it at all, I bet it'll sound pretty good. You can move around. You can start low and go high. You can start high and go low. But experiment with your bottles, write out some music, and then maybe play it for someone at your house. Most importantly, whatever you're doing, make some music and have some fun. We're making... Our Falcon friends. <laughs>